What is going on everybody? Matta222 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Marvel Legends Monster Venom Build-A-Figure Wave Typhoid Mary. So we're going to have the packaging. You got Typhoid Mary in all scary bloody writing right there. One thing I noticed on this figure, nothing on the top, not even the Venom logo, which is kind of weird. Uh, nice shot of Typhoid Mary on the side. And same shot on the other side. On the back, we got a brief bio in four languages. If you want to read that in any of these, please feel free to pause this video now and do so. And then a nice shot of the figure. There are the other figures. So we've reviewed these two. Now we're on to Typhoid Mary. So this will kind of bring us to the halfway point. And there's a completed Monster Venom. And so that does it for the packaging. So looking at the figure, I think this is actually a nice figure. I think this is an underrated figure. So I like the face sculpt. I like the color of the hair. The two different sides are painted seamlessly. So no bleeding over, no white or anything like that kind of, no white on this side. So very nice. And I like the color of the hair. I like the skull. It's kind of like a dark red. Kind of. This looks like the M Mary Jane head, but maybe a little better. Not sure. And then where she's got her collar or choker, whatever you want to call that. It is painted silver. Shoulder pads are a soft enough plastic, so they shouldn't inhibit the articulation. And then paint on the course, it is good. Minus a little bit of black kind of, kind of bleeding through there. And the one leg, that's all ripped up fishnets. Again, paint is good on it. Then the other one is just black. No really sculpting on this figure. And then just the black boots or black feet with the boot links. Kind of like cufflinks. And some kind of some kind of ridges on the arms of the jacket. On the back of the jacket too. It's got some more ridges. And then she's wearing, oh, I guess it's uh, jeans with the leg ripped out. That makes sense. So you can see the belt. The buckle is painted. The belt is clearly distinguishable. So all in all, very nice. And the red for the lips is good. So uh, yeah, nice, nice figure in my opinion. Articulation: head moves side to side. We do get forward and back. Arm moves. Uh, so you can move the arm all the way up to here. So like I said, this doesn't really inhibit any articulation moves in this far out that far she's got a bicep swivel single jointed elbow wrist rotation and wrist hinge diaphragm joint hips move out this far she kicks this far forward that far back she's got a thigh swivel double jointed knee and ankle pivot and slight ankle rockers now this is where this figure gets a little bit uh, frustrating for me. So she comes with a katana with a fire effect wrapped around it. Looks nice. I mean, the handle looks, handle's painted. Sword is painted. The translucent fire effect is decent. She can hold. She can hold it. She can hold it. She doesn't hold it very well though it's very loose and she doesn't come with any alternate hands so she's always gonna hold it kind of weirdly so at this point that is kind of the best you could hope for uh all in all still a nice figure i wouldn't say she was my least favorite figure in this wave but i mean i wouldn't say i wouldn't go ahead and say she was the best figure either this one is kind of right here in the middle for me, but nice, nice classic character, nice classic villain. So if you're into building up your comic book legends figures, then this is probably one you want to pick up because I don't see her getting re-released any, any point in the future. But that is it for this video, guys. So thank you again for watching. Thank you for all your support, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment with your friends, Co comment with your friends.
comment, share with your friends. That's what I meant to say, guys. That's what I meant to say, but I'm just rambling. Social media links will be in the description as they always are. And of course, guys, facebook.com slash sanctuary, youtube.com slash sanctuary. Make sure you go check out, check us out on both of those platforms. That is going to be it. Thank you again, guys. Have yourselves a great day, and I will catch you next time with another figure review, and bye.